All right, how's it going? Um, yeah, it's still early spring. It's the end of April, and I recently planted drew some artichokes. Um, I ordered about a half a pound at first, and last year I planted about half a pound, and I got about 12 pounds back. And so I figured, hey, why not make a large yield this year? Why not yield more this year? And um, so I decided to order three pounds in total of Jerusalem artichokes. And um, I planted them in two areas. Uh, one area I actually planted in the same spot that I planted last year where I had yielded uh, the 12 pounds last year. And that's in the uh, side of my uh, backyard, uh, towards the fence of my yard. And um, the other drew some artichokes I planted in the plot and I recently planted them um, at the beginning part of the plot where you enter the plot alright so I'm out here in the plot and uh, things are looking good you know the stuff that I put down is starting to break down and I have tons of weeds coming up everywhere um, cool thing is uh, some of the weeds are very uh, beneficial like the uh, red clover which is a nitrogen fixer and then uh, dandelions which you can actually eat so it's good to have some weeds in the garden because they stop erosion. But um, yeah, planted drew some artichoke here in that corner, and uh, it's getting warmer, so I'm gonna spend more time out here. Yeah. And then I gave a few to uh, my friend Pete, you know, because uh, it's interesting. Got a surprise? These are interesting uh, plants because they're it's able nice to surprise. be shared, you know, and that, that's a one good rule of gardening is sharing. We need to what share and keep the diversity of nice. these foods out there nice. amongst the people. Look, yeah, I'm out of them. Oh, nice! I already planted like a pound and a half. How much is this? Whatever's left. How much did you order? Like three pounds. Damn. Yeah. Gotta plant these ASAP. Yeah. So I'm really looking forward to harvesting these Jerusalem artichokes and uh, looking forward to watch them grow because um, I have a lot of Jerusalem artichokes in the ground this year. And uh, the three pounds and including the, the ones I did miss because I'm sure I did not get every one when I was harvesting. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I was hanging out in the backyard uh, recently and it was raining and um, I had a project that I had planned on doing a year ago, maybe a year and a half ago, I planned on doing this project. The project was postponed and um, probably because I procrastinate and I am a big procrastinator. I'm, I'm sure I would have many more videos to give you guys, but if I didn't procrastinate so much, um, you know, things would get done. But I plan on doing it soon. I hope to do it soon. Um, and that's the rain barrels. I plan on uh, connecting my rain barrels to the gutter in my backyard because the gutter in my backyard actually just run off the gutter connected to my uh, garage it just runs off and it just falls to the ground and um, I want to be a little more resourceful you know on that, on that permaculture swag you know a little more resourceful and I want to start saving my water to uh, you know water my plants the initial plan was to hook up the rainbow system and have a uh, drip system going with the rain barrels um, I have two rainbows in my room and two in the backyard and uh, Hopefully that will be a project in the future, hopefully not even in the future, now. You know, I should start working on it, you know, what's stopping me. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is just a quick update and um, I'll keep them coming. You know, I'm going to try to be a little more consistent, you know, i got to pressure myself. Come on, be more consistent, get things done, you know, productivity is key. Alright, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.